five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everyone. You're in the office with Joseph Skoda. Now, I actually, we're actually behind my studio right now, and it's cold in Las Vegas. It's probably not even 50 degrees, a little bit of sprinkles out there. But sometimes you have to make sacrifices to get what you want. For instance, look behind me. Progress. Progress starts here. We're actually not just behind the studio, but there's a gym next to us. It's all about what are you doing today to make a difference tomorrow. And we have to start one step at a time. Not backwards, but actually forward. One step. Give a little swag. Give a little something, something going on. Anyways, what is progress to you? Hopefully what it can be if you're at, at a gym is getting into shape and maybe lose a little bit of this here in the middle. Or working on other skill sets like being in front of a camera and being confident talking in front of people. A lot of us don't have those skills developed strong enough. Now, I was going to do this great talk on a bus today, and I love it. I did a talk on this bus, a little presentation a couple months ago, and it was a lot of fun. And think about when life was safe. Remember riding the school bus to school? And we didn't have seat belts, and they still don't have seat belts on the buses. But you felt safe. You were going to a, a place of learning, or better yet, a field trip somewhere. But you're going to develop some progress in your knowledge, in your education. You're going to develop, maybe learn something new. You can tell mom and dad, hey, mom, guess what? How many bones in the dinosaur? Or whatever that is. Because we don't know everything. And quite often we hear from people, our elders, on a regular basis that they forgot more than we know. And I feel that way sometimes. I feel like I forgot more than at least my grandchildren know. But what am I doing to change all of that? Well, I'm freezing my butt out here in Las Vegas, and that's hard to say. You don't freeze in Las Vegas. It's always hot, right? Well, not today it's not. Not today. And it doesn't matter because that's the way of God mixing things up and getting rid of the old and making room for the new and making room for your and I progress. It doesn't have to be a New Year's resolution or something you write down as a goal, but it should be. We should all figure out what we want to accomplish in the next several days and months and years. And you have to step forward and figure out what that's going to be. Now, I, I interview people from all walks of life, and I focus mostly on veterans. In fact, I'll be talking to a veteran a little bit later on this afternoon. He doesn't want to be in front of the camera. He has other things he wants to talk about. Now, studying psychology and business and some of the other degrees I have, he wants to talk a little bit about his story, but he's not ready to share it yet because he's trying to redefine his purpose. How many of us are not sure what our purpose is? I've done a lot of videos and presentations on that because I've lost my purpose when I left the military. I lost my purpose when my kids grew up and left home. Well, quite frankly, my older son still lives with me. I don't know what happened there. I'm not sure what happened there. But sometimes we lose focus. You know, when I went through a divorce and like, woe is me and my pity party, where did things go wrong? What should have I have done differently or better? Those eat you up inside. Kids growing up going to college, maybe getting in trouble with the law, that eats you up inside. Uh, gaining weight and, and getting sluggish through life, that eats you up inside. And we have to figure out what our progress is going to be. What does that mean exactly? We're going to get down and do some push-ups. Now, a couple of years ago, I was challenged to do 22 push-ups a day for 22 days. And it represents how many veterans, how many military active duty members take their lives each and every day. And it was estimated 22 for several years, about 22 veterans and active duty personnel kill themselves. Why do we kill ourselves or contemplate suicide? What is so wrong in our world where we just want to take our own lives out? 
sometimes it's finances. We're not sure what, where the money's going to come from to help support our families or have a good roof over our head, especially when it's raining. It, it could be, uh, you know, you, you lost your job or you left the military or they're giving you the boot and telling you you have to get out. Or maybe you, you are going through a divorce or separation from your significant other, whatever that may be, and you just don't know what's going to happen next. You see, I wear this shirt. GI Connections. GI Connections. It's connecting veterans with resources. I started this nonprofit a couple of years ago. Obviously, COVID slowed a few things down. I need to get refocused again. But being a retired Air Force officer, actually, deeply appreciate it. I find out it's so important to find a way to connect with those veterans and even active duty personnel and help them redefine their purpose in life. And how do we redefine our purpose in life? Whatever it is, we got to figure out progress has to be involved. Because consistency in a certain direction, whether right or wrong, left or right, you can always adjust and make it better. You can always ask for that advice and recommendations and guidance <laughs> and more importantly love from our God and our our family to help us on the right path. I've made a lot of wrong paths in my life and I forgot what it's, I think it was Yogi Bear. They says, uh, you take a fork in the road, well, what do you do when you come to a fork in the road? He says, take it. <laughs> I think he said it, take it. Left or right, it doesn't matter. We're all going to have to work and get around those consequences because it doesn't and we're going to have challenges whether it's the the left fork or right fork anyways or or just going straight there's always going to be someone coming at us and if you're a christian like i am and the more you announce that you're a christian believe it or not the more you get challenged and even beat up sometimes it's part of the deal but we're focusing on where we're going to end up when we leave this earth of ours Hopefully we all end up here, but it doesn't come easy. Ask God forgiveness. You're going to follow him. You're going to stay away from sin. You've got to continuously work on it because we're all sinners. We all make mistakes, even veterans. And I'm not a perfect veteran by any means, but my brothers were veterans and my son's a, a active duty member right now and really proud of all of us serving our own ways. But like we're talking about, you're taking that step forward this way or that way. You you get sick, you get beat up, you fall down, you kind of put your hands in your pocket. Like, okay, what's next? <laughs> what's next? Sometimes you have to put your boxing gloves on, right? Sometimes you have to learn skills to, to, to take out the enemy and knock them out and poof, get them here. In fact, I'm going to wrestle many here pretty soon and... I think that's the best sport ever. Bowling and wrestling. There's nothing better. <laughs> There's nothing else in between that matches either one of those sports, in my opinion. What's your opinion? What does progression mean to you? What does success mean to you? What are you going to do to get all you can out of today? We can't put off tomorrow what we can accomplish today. It's called procrastination. I'm a professional at procrastination, I promise you. And my camera woman right now, and my business partner, Maria, will tell you she's an expert at procrastination. Of it's something we not. all focus I with. I never even procrastinate. <laughs> told you, told you. That's a procrastination excuse. Right. <laughs> but we all have those excuses. I have a lot of I'm not going to be able to do your video. Oh, your my goodness. She's out there on her phone checking out the weather. It's cold out. What else do you need to check out? Whatever it is, find a way for progression in your own life. And if you don't know where to go, read a book or do something that's self-development. If nothing else... You know, you can, it's okay to reminisce about the past and look at what worked and what didn't work. Look at your parents, what worked and didn't work in their relationship. Look at your boss. Um, I'm sure they'll tell you about a few of their failures before they finally made it. So look for those 
little things out there, those situations out there that open up opportunity for all of us. Because when you look at the grand picture, not here, but the grand picture up there, we can see it took a lot of struggles to get to where we're getting. Too many of us stop in those struggles and we turn around and go back with our head down. I don't want to do it no more. But if you just keep pursuing, you keep going through, you'll eventually break through that wall. You'll eventually be able to, to breathe again. You'll, you'll eventually see the, the light at the end of the tunnel, as they say. We're all going to have those challenges. And real importantly, once you figure out what works, share it with someone else. Once you figure out how you found and redefine your purpose, redefine yourself, show someone, talk to someone, guide them, and tell them it's not end of hope. We gotta have hope. It's not the end of our life, not the end of our world. No reason to kill ourselves. There is hope. There is if you have that determination, consistency to make this a better place. It takes people like you and people like me and people like even Maria, believe it or not, to change this world and make it a better place. But with all that being said, wherever your office is, wherever you hang your hat, if you notice right now, I don't have my hat on because <laughs> I was afraid it's going to blow away in the wind, but it's not as windy as I thought it was going to be. But a hat doesn't have to define you. A cane don't have to define you. A limp. <laughs> Even being a veteran doesn't have to define you. It's part of who you are. It's maybe what you want to be known as. But we're human beings and God created each and every one of us unique. Created each and every one of us just a little bit different so we can get along and use our talents to, to mesh and help each other out. If we were all the same, we would just be button heads and probably hate everyone and ourselves. I don't want too many people like me. That would scare me. But with all that being said, make this world a happy place. Be consistent in what you do. And constantly, constantly, constantly look for some progression. If you need some help, hey, check out social media shows. You never know. It might be what you're looking for. But with that being said, you're in the office with G.I. Joe Skoda. I'm going where it's warm. You take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you liked our show, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on any social media platform. Instagram, of course, Facebook. Like, subscribe, share. We appreciate it. Let us know your thoughts and join our team. Anyways, we appreciate you staying tuned week after week, day after day, because we continuously build up our network to bring to you what you're asking for. Have a great day.